there welcome back to my channel this morning I am up and I'm gonna do a quick video before I get started with work so completely ignore the, the dark circles and the crazy hair I just wanted to do a review on my Stephanie Dawn shoulder bag in the pattern Mocha Paisley I just got this bag in the mail yesterday and this came fresh from their online outlet sale on their website called stephaniedawn.net this week they're having an outlet sale featuring four items, one being the shoulder bag, another being the zip ID and key, the other being a lanyard, and the other one being a mini sling. So I think each month Stephanie Dawn is going to have a week-long outlet sale where they feature uh, special products from their line. And so this first week um, I decided to pick up a zip ID and key, which is on its way to me, and I got this shoulder bag. So this is a, a quite a special bag to me. About this time last year uh, I, is when I started, you know, learning more about Stephanie Dawn and becoming interested in the products that they make. And um, I reached out to uh, Stephanie Dawn and asked about this exact shoulder bag and this pattern. And they explained to me that this was their uh, first pattern in, in 2008. And so they revive it and bring it back for special pop-up sales and outlet sales and things like that, but um, it never comes back to like the regular line, just for special sales. Unfortunately, when I contacted them, I contacted them when they ended a sale and then the next time they had a pop-up sale, this bag was in it, but it sold out so fast. So this time I was on top of it. I saw that this was gonna be in this week's sale and I grabbed it. This is a great bag. I, um, even though I just got this bag yesterday, I did have this bag style and the pattern Jovi last year so I'd use that bag a ton and I feel like I, I'm very comfortable talking to you about the features and how I like it. This bag is about the size of um, I would say actually a little smaller than Vera Bradley's current regular sized on the go style so if you are familiar uh, with Vera Bradley and not so familiar with Stephanie Dawn I would kind of compare this in terms of size to the current on the go style. With the Stephanie Dawn shoulder bag, you have these two slip pockets on the front and you can see that they are lined with the border trim there, which I really like. And then you've got this double stitching going uh, down through the middle of those two pockets. In this pocket, I like to use this as a quick access pocket for my phone. I do have the iPhone 11 and you'll notice that um, camera up, it does stick out of this pocket. If I'm in an environment where I want my phone to be a little more safe, I will opt to put it in this back zipper pocket, which we'll get to shortly. But I think this is a good place for quick grab and go moments. In the second slip pocket here, I have my usual uh, hand sanitizer and my chapstick. And just look how, just look how pretty the shape of this the overall shape of this bag is just really, really very pretty. Um, I love the, the two pocket look. Um, I like that it's got like a slim composure to it, especially because it can be used as a crossbody. And I I like crossbodies that have some capacity like this, as you can see, then it's got a nice base there. But it's not too big, you know, it's it's very it's very comfortable to use as a crossbody, and if you want to remove the base and go for a more slouchy, softer bag, you can absolutely do this with this bag because it does come with a removable cardboard base, and it is recommended before you wash your bag to take that cardboard base out. On the back of the bag, we have a full zipper pocket here. Very soft zippers, and the zipper pulls are these fabric uh, zipper pulls here. The zipper um, and hardware on here are this nice complimentary brown color. And in this pocket, I just have um, car keys in here. And I've got just enough room to get my phone inside if I need to. So let's get that in there. So you can see phone fits. I've got a, a pretty thick case on this phone too. And it fits really nicely in that pocket. The strap. So Stephanie Dawn's shoulder bag is pretty famous, uh, I've heard, for having such a nice wide strap for comfort. So you can get a good idea of the width of the sh this uh, strap. 
So it, it can be adjusted to crossbody, it can be adjusted to shoulder bag. So there's no hardware on this side, the strap is just attached directly to the bag. And then on this side, it's attached directly to the bag, but you do have this uh, plastic brown hardware here connecting this to this. And then you have the plastic brown adjuster. Uh, I think plastic is just fine on a bag like this. It's, it's very lightweight. Um, the fabric is very soft, very lightweight, very quality. It just feels really good to the touch and it's really soft. The inside of the bag you'll see has a little bit of like a smile mouth opening and you do have that nice zipper pull again. And you have a great wide opening with this bag. And I love the pockets on the inside of here. You'll see how nice the pockets are. I have most of the same stuff that I usually carry in all of my uh, What's In My Bag videos, but there's a couple different new things inside that we can talk about. So first, I've got my uh, sunglasses, double eye, double eye glass case in Hummingbird Park. This pattern is coming out next month, it's coming out in April. So I'm super, super excited for this print. I, this might be one of my most anticipated prints besides Java Navy, which I'm hoping Java Navy is not a custom. I hope it's a full line signature print because I want accessories in it. And as of right now, you can't get accessories in Java Navy. Um, but I digress. This is a Hummingbird Park. It is going to be a signature store pattern that's supposedly coming out in April. I was told um, a couple times by um, the Vera Bradley store manager at the store that I, I frequent, and I was also told by Vera Bradley co online customer service twice that it's coming out in April. So super looking forward to that because it's just beautiful, and I love the florals and, of course, the little hummingbird. In this little pirouette pink pouch, it's actually a tissue pouch, but it also comes with this nifty little zipper pocket on the back. And in here, I just have like band-aids, scissors, floss picks, little things like that. Um, that way, all of this stuff is in one compact place. I love this case. This, I found out, also came in, um, uh, goodness, what's that print name? Jazzy Blooms. If you're familiar with that print, um, I really like Jazzy Blooms as well. And so eventually I would love to find this in Jazzy Blooms because I could absolutely find use for a second one of these and put it in like my work bag, which right now I'm using the uh, VBU backpack. I'm going to do a review on that one soon in case you're interested. Um, okay, let's keep going. So we've got the uh, Vines Floral mini pouch from the Pencil Pouch Trio. I love to keep wet wipes in there. It's perfect for that. I also have my Let's Get Techie and Purely Peacock. This is a product, um, I think it was recently retired um, by Cinda B. I really wish it wasn't because I would get one of these in probably every color because this is so multi-purpose. You can use this for so many different things. I even had my essential oils in here one day. But I ended up putting my charging stuff back in it because it's it's just perfect for that. And it's it's marketed as a, as a tech product. But you can use it for all different kinds of things. And I found that it, it did fit my essential oils really, really well. Okay, so we do have a couple more things in the body of the bag, which I've got my mask pouch that you've seen before if you watch my videos. Um, but we will start talking about the pockets since a majority of the stuff left is in the, the slip pockets. So on the front wall, of the bag. We've got two generously sized slip pockets, which one has my lotion inside and the other one, make sure my ID is not showing, I've got my wallet. It's the Clip Zip ID in Make Me Blush. Love this one. This is one of my favorite um, of my zip IDs because it's small, compact, very soft. It's got a super smooth zipper and it's got a little clip, which makes it super easy for me to slip my, or clip my keys and go. And then on the back wall, you'll see um, a small pocket, which is perfect. I mean, absolutely perfect for my pepper spray. Because sometimes when I put the pepper spray in pockets with other stuff, the little uh, switch on it will flip open. And I'm so afraid I'm going to press down on it by accident and spray pepper spray in my bag. I uh, very fortunately have not had to use pepper spray yet, so I don't know how easily that button can be activated. I need to test it because they recommend that you test it and get comfortable with it 
Um, but I'm just nervous that it has switched open before several times in other bags. So I kind of like that that pocket conceals it. You can see it back there. The pocket adjacent to that is a large slip pocket, very large. And you'll see the Stephanie Dawn, Dawn tag on that pocket. And I think, yes, so they do put washing instructions on the back of that tag. That way you always have washing instructions because they do give you paperwork too. Um, with instructions that comes with your purchase. But in that pocket, I don't have much. I just have my usual pen with lid. And I have a petite garden mask as an extra. And just a scrunchie in that one. But this is also a really stellar pocket for a cell phone. So if you're looking for extra protection for your cell phone, you'll see it's illuminated in there. Perfect. You can put your cell phone in there and it lays horizontally. All right. So there's a couple more things in the bag and these are new things, new to me things. So we'll go ahead and talk about those. My recent pattern obsession has been um, Lavender Meadow. I've always liked Lavender Meadow. And um, when it first came out, I did a couple videos on my channel where I showed the, the zip ID and I showed um, a lanyard and I had a little hipster. I did end up selling the little hipster because while I do like the style, I still have a couple little hipsters, but it, it's, it is small and it's, I think, a special occasion bag for me. Like if I just want to carry a few things or if I want to nestle it into a bigger bag or tote, I love using the little hipster. But for every day, sometimes it's a little too small. But now, flash forward to, you know, two years after that pattern has released, I'm obsessed with it. And of course, some items are hard to find. And one of those items is the coin purse. So I recently um, found this by doing a photo search on eBay. To be honest, it came to me a little bit dirty, which in the photos, it looked very clean. So I was a little bit shocked when it came to me with a couple little stains on it. So I did throw it in the wash um, and I tried to spot clean it the best I could. And overall, the body of the coin purse came out really clean. I mean, the body of it is, is pretty nice after I, I did the wash. It's just around um, the top zipper and you can even see um, what that kind of looks like because I, I really scrubbed it and I even used a touch of bleach just on a tip of the q-tip because I wanted to make sure it's not just a stain that bothered me but it's like I don't want it to be like you know I don't know what the stain is I don't know if it's like germ you know germy or whatever so I washed it multiple times and then I uh, put a little bit a dab of bleach on it to hopefully kill any germs but you cannot find the these coin purses in Lavender Meadow anymore I've, I've tried and tried and tried to search and this was the only one I could find and so right now I'm using it to hold a couple things. So I love the placement on this coin purse. See, I've got a little um, open winged ladybug on the bottom, but I love this bud with the leaves. I just think the way it's shaded is so pretty and I love that shade of pink. It's on the, the edge of like a purple shade, but it's just very pretty and feminine. And then on the other side, you've got the bursts of purple flowers with some green there. This is a really great coin purse because it does zip across and a little bit down so you can open it up nice and wide. And in here, I have my peppermint oil, which I've been using almost every day this week because every day has been a migraine day for me. And I also have this little... Um, pill case and it's detached from my Vera Bradley pill case because you can break these off in two they just slide right off and I found that this is perfect for my Excedrin and Tylenol I was using these little uh, round pill cases they're really lotion uh, bottles but I was using them for Tylenol and Excedrin but they're bulky this is nice and slim and they stick together but they're still separated so I thought that would be perfect. And oh, in the coin pouch, you do have a slip pocket if you want to use this as like a wallet or something, which I will definitely do in the future. But you also have a, let's see, 
you have a chapstick sleeve. So that's pretty cool. And of course you have all the cute little ladybugs inside. But yeah, that's what I like to keep in there for right now. Just so these two things, I mean, they don't fit in here with all the other stuff that I have. But it fits really nicely in here and I still have this very cute little uh, splash of the print. And then the other thing in Lavender Meadow that I have that I recently picked up, I got this for a great deal, new with tags recently on eBay. And the seller had multi multiple of these. And um, so I have the little one here. Uh, this is the, the Campus Double ID, by the way. And this is the uh, out ID that's on the outside. And I have a little ladybug right on the inside, which is super cute. And you can see the leaves and the flower. So you can put a picture in there and it does come with a key ring, but I took that off and put that in my little key ring bag because I think it just makes it a little more sleek without the key ring. And same with this, this also comes with the key ring, but I took that off as well because I'm not clipping either of these items to anything right now. And then there's the back side. love purple flowers. And then it opens and closes with a snap button closure. And there is your second ID. Hence the name Double ID. So I've got my pictures back here. And I might fill this one up with pictures too. But right now I'm admiring the little ladybug that's in the window there. And then you've got a, a slip pocket here. And then another slip pocket here. So I have grocery lists here. And then I've got business cards in this one. So this is a great little case. I think for me this is a little too small for me to use it as a wallet because it does bulk up really fast if you have a lot of cards so the zip id case um for me it's just a little bit better so you'll see kind of the size difference here with the zip id case see it's a little thicker can, can accommodate a little bit more so I, I i do like that about it but this is perfect and i, I basically just got this for my business cards and if I wanted to show a photo as well. I do like using my zip IDs to display photos too, but I, I just wanted something extra to kind of carry around in my bag where it's just dedicated to those couple of things. Okay, so that's everything that I have in this bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and load it up real quickly for you and throw it on just to show you what it looks like. my hair tie. Oh, we'll just leave that out. And then wallet. I think that's everything. Oh, I do have my AirPods. I'll just slip them in this front pocket for right now and zip it up. Okay, so again, here is what the bag looks like. A great slouchy. Look how slouchy and cute. Just like a cute hobo style. All right, let me shift the camera here. Hold on with me for one second. Um, I might have to shift it even more just so you can see, hopefully. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Let me shift it a little more. Just bear with me here. I need to have it where I can get my whole body <laughs> in the frame. Um, here it is as a long shoulder bag. It's kind of far away. Um, yeah, I don't really have very much space here, but I just want you to see the width of the bag. It's not super overwhelming. Remember, I did put my AirPods in this pocket and they're kind of bulky, so we'll just put those off to the side. Um, but I just want you to see the width up against my body. It's not super wide. If you're someone that doesn't like really, you know, big crossbodies, this is very reasonable. I mean, just look at that. It's just got such a cute shape. And I think the smile mouth opening is perfect for a crossbody. So let's go ahead and try it on as a crossbody. It's so soft and I'm telling you the wide strap makes it feel like I'm not wearing anything. And look how, look at the size. I mean, it's, it's just really a nice size. You've got that nice curve there. Again, the base is not, it's not too overwhelming. And it's just really soft. So I'm trying to back up as much as I can standing on my tippy toes. So hopefully you can see that. You can see the nice strap width there, which is I think great for this type of bag. 
There you go again. And so this is uh, the Stephanie Dawn shoulder bag. So it also has an option for you to adjust. And as you can see, it's very easy to adjust. So here's the drop. And on me, this bag, this is typical for me with most bags, especially Vera Bradley, when I put it at its short, shortest length, it's, it usually falls right on top of my hip. This is just a little bit higher, but it is a fabulous shoulder bag. Like, I just, I love this size. I mean, I think this is great. It's, again, it's a little bit smaller to me, I think, a little bit smaller than the current did I say bigger or smaller earlier? I hope I said smaller because I think it's a little smaller than the on the go. And I do like that about it. So you still have really, really great functional pockets. I mean, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because you have the four on the inside. So you have seven pockets to get organized. You could still use pouches if you love that. I just think it's fantastic. And I really wanted to get this video out this morning um, before I started work because Today is Friday, and Stephanie Dawn is having their outlet sale with this bag style for a, only a couple more days. Hang on with me. Boop. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, alrighty. Sorry, I had to take you on a little ride there, but I just wanted to get this video out there. Um, I'll try to get it posted as soon as I can this morning. Um, and now with the time change, we've got some really decent light early in the morning, so that's great. But I, I wanted to get this out there for those who are interested in it, because I think the bag originally retails for $56, and it's on sale for $35.99. And they've got all kinds of amazing colors. Some of them are sold out, but I the last time I checked, this color's still available, and they've got some great solid colors as well. So I wanted to get this up there or up on YouTube for those that might be interested in this style. Again, it's called the Shoulder Bag by Stephanie Dawn, stephaniedawn.net. Great price, great bag, very comfortable. So I wanted to jump into this and use it and also just give you a what's in my bag and review today. All right, I will stop blabbing now and I will hopefully see you again soon. Bye.